Hey guys, it's Danielle with Danielle Gets It Done and it's time for my June favorites. Gonna love you, honey, on and on and on. I'm a morning dove singing out a song. All right, we're gonna do kind of similar categories as last month. We'll start with wellness and I have one product. It's very exciting, it's deodorant. <laughs> Native deodorant. I've been using this for maybe probably six months now. It's all natural. There's no aluminum and that's really important for me and I've tried a lot of natural deodorants and I find natural deodorants to be really tricky. Like they don't work or they work and then they stop working or they don't feel good. Like they feel, you feel like you're sweaty and it's just the deodorant not soaking in so this is tried and true in my book for me personally i love it they have a ton of different scents and my favorite is the lavender rose it smells really good you guys and it's just an awesome company i really love them i will link them and everything i talk about below I should have checked if I have a coupon for you. If I do, that will be down below, but you have to try Native if you haven't already. Okay, next down to like beauty fashion is Amazon for clothes. I have gotten a lot of clothes recently on Amazon. I'm working on my summer capsule wardrobe, which I hope to have for you guys really soon, but I got several things from Amazon, including shoes and I didn't take any of it back because I love it all. So you'll see it all later, um, mainly because it's all in the wash, but I have a wedding in Hawaii in a few weeks and look at this pretty dress. Amazon Prime, I got it in two days. It fits really well, it's so comfortable and I think it was less than $30. So it's something I never really considered before. Someone suggested it to me and I feel like I'm onto something. I'm really excited for what this future relationship will hold. Okay, podcast slash books. I actually have not found any new podcasts this month. I've been reading like crazy still. I think I'm in four or five books right now at the same time. It's a little all over the place. I'll talk about two of them. One I finished a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, called Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. She wrote Girl on a Train, which became a movie, which I really, really loved. So I've been wanting to read this second novel of hers for a while, and I liked it. It's very different, like extremely different, but it's still like that psychological, I want to say it's a psychological thriller but just like there's just a lot going on so it's about a town where a bunch of women die in the water <laughs> in the river via suicide or likely suicide um, or maybe something else is going on and it's really good so check it out I will have that linked below and then I'm not done with the following, but I'm listening on Audible to Intuitive Eating. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Intuitive Eating. And I've been wanting to read this for a long time. Becca Bristow is a YouTuber that I follow and she has recommended it over and over again. So I finally decided to read or listen to it and it's really interesting. It's basically about how or why that most diets fail and kind of how to reset our body and have no rules and just like eat what your body tells you and you'll figure it out and you'll naturally be at the weight that you're supposed to be. Like portion sizes are just kind of ridiculous because we all have different body types, we're all different weights. We, some are more athletic than others. Like you just need to listen to your body and throw all dieting away. I really recommended it. It's, I really recommend it. It's interesting and it's, I never thought of myself as a dieter, but she's definitely pointing out that I have a diet mentality. Like I don't really eat rice or grains. 
like certain carbohydrates I won't eat after a certain time and that's basically a food rule which is a diet and she doesn't think that one should have many or any rules with food so I guess a little controversial but I really like it and I listen to it on audible which I am loving and I have a link below for 30 day free trial and a free book on audible and that will be below as well okay lastly my Netflix and chill category this is like really sentimental to me but David Letterman has a special on Netflix called The Next Guest Needs No Introduction. He interviewed one, two, three, four, five, six slash a bonus seventh person. I think each are an hour long. You guys, I love David Letterman. I never understood why Leno beat him year after year in the ratings. I watched him almost every night in middle school and high school. I just, I don't know what it is. Like, he, I feel like he could be my grandpa, dad. I don't know, I love him. Like, I just think he's so funny and so kind and I just think he's so funny. And this is an amazing series. I really think you should watch it. And here are the guests. It starts with Barack Obama, George Clooney, Malala, you s I don't know how to say her last name. I'll, I'll word it here, but she was the young woman attacked by the Taliban when she was 15 and she has gone on. She's won a Nobel Peace Prize and written books and really advocating for women's education. Jay-Z, that was a good one. Like, I think that might have been my favorite one. I don't know much about Jay-Z, so... It was interesting for me to watch. Tina Fey, that was amazing because she kind of pushed him a little bit. And that was fun to see. Howard Stern, which I'm kind of a fan of Howard Stern as well. And then the bonus was a Jerry Seinfeld. It was more like interviewing each other. I don't like Jerry Seinfeld. Sorry, I don't like him. Yeah, he was very open and emotional during this whole series and we didn't see that side of him really when he hosted the late night show so it was just you guys it's really 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 good it's a lot about racial issues women issues a lot about economic diversity yeah i i watched a couple episodes twice because it's that good Definitely check it out. It's called The Next Guest Needs No Introduction, and I hope he does more projects because I really miss him. <laughs> Sounds like I have a crush on David Letterman. I kind of do. All right, that is my list of my favorite things of June. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would love it. If you'd give this video a thumbs up, please hit that subscribe button if you are new and whatever your plans are today, I hope you get them done. Bye guys.